Hello and a very warm welcome to Card for the Day by Healing Hand Services. My name is Julie Sean. Today is Monday the 10th of May 2021. The deck I am using for the card for the day is the Angel Tarot by Radley Valentine. So we stand here, we ground ourselves to Mother Earth and we're calling in our angels, archangels, spirits and guides, gods and goddesses to ask them what message do they want to give us? What information, what insight would they like us to know for today? <coughs> Breath in and out and just connect in. What message? Oh, there's a card. And the card is the Queen of Water. Queen of Water. If you had the uh, original tarot cards, this would be Queen of Cups. Water is all to do with emotions and queen is the characteristic of the person. So it may be that you are going to be um, the queen of emotions today, maybe someone who is going to come to you who will be full of emotions, but you are the queen of emotions. You are tender hearted, you're caring, you're empathic, you're patient, you're loving. So maybe you need to be your queen like quality. So come, someone comes to you in a distressed place that you will be able to help them with that or maybe you need to take control of your emotions because things are happening around you and you need to take control the queen is the feminine aspect of the person the king is the masculine the feminine is the carer and the nurturer the king is the actioner and it's saying it's all about relationships so this is about the person and relationship are you yourself very emotional or maybe you have got no emotions at all and maybe you need to be a bit more caring this is all about you, the characteristic. And it's saying, trusting your intuition. What is it that you're feeling about? There she is, the, the beautiful wings there with all the beautiful dolphins and the whales, the orca whales there swinging around. So it's saying that, you know, the orca, the big problems around, you need to take control of your emotions. Maybe you're looking at things too emotionally maybe you need to step back and maybe you need to go with drawing and go start thinking logically and it's saying yes you are a person who cares for other people but don't forget to care for yourself the queen of water it's all about emotions and this is all about the person you or someone coming into your life so maybe you need to be the queen of emotions control your emotions someone comes to you and they're all upset and maybe you need to be rather than emotionally involved which where they get the sympathy but maybe that person yes may need a little bit of sympathy but you need to be your logic and give their caring sharing and loving towards them and help them on their way or maybe you need you are feeling emotionally deprived and you need to speak to someone who is you know maybe emotionally involved or whatever it is it's the queen of water all about relationships relationship with yourself with others, trusting your instinct, you know, should I do this, shouldn't I do this? What, speak from your heart center, you know, should I be kind or do I need to be cruel, not cruel to be kind, but be almost like, yes, not standoffish and say, yes, I know you're going through this emotional um, problem at the moment, yes, I can understand, because they come to you, you're the queen, you've got all this life knowledge, but sometimes, yes, you can feel their emotions, it's like the judge, he has one emotional story this side, one emotional story like that, and he has to remain impartial. And that's what maybe you need to do, become impartial. And maybe you're thinking, oh, I can't do this because it might upset them. I won't do this with my life because it might upset someone else. If I do this, it will upset someone else. What about yourself? It's a ripple effect because if you look after yourself and you are happy, it ripples out. You can see the ripple the whirlpool around you are the calm in the center and it ripples out become the queen of water control your emotions be sensitive to other people be kind and loving and be more respectful um, to yourself and kind to yourself but above all get control of your emotions 
because the queen of water can be a bit of emotional and sometimes we need to look at things with a logic thought of mind. I hope you've enjoyed this reading with the connecting with the queen of water, connecting with your emotions. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to arrange your own reading, please contact me. Um, you can co The comments below are how you can message me. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Take care. Bye.